Hi, Jemmy. Happy birthday, Jemmy. All right. This is going to be for Gemini. We are going to do your twin flame reading. Um, this is going to be timeless, Jemmy, so you can... You can watch it whenever you want, Gemini. I know y'all got a birthday coming up. <clears throat> so happy birthday to all the Gemmies. That's why I'm doing your reading right now during Gemmy season. Okay. <clears throat> all right, Gemmy. I have I have some new decks. So um, sorry, I'm a little bit disorganized right now. Sorry, I know I haven't done a lot of readings. I've been working a lot of hours, guys. And I don't know if my light is charged. So we're going to have to make do without my lighting today. I hope y'all can see me well enough without the lighting. All right, let's dive right in, Jemmy, okay? I'm going to start with my Archangel, the Archangel power tarot cards archangel power tarot cards all right what does jemmy oh goodness i can't even shuffle what does jemmy need to know about their twin flame reading gemini why is that card upside down I swear to god these cards are not be upside down all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask the Archangel Michael to come and protect the space for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and invite the spirit guides of the Geminis that watch me. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. All right, oof. Gemini, what do we got for Gemini? Create a protective bubble around this space, a golden bubble. All right, Jemmy. I didn't even look at what was behind me. We got messy beds and stuff. Fuck it. Not really. Uh, excuse me. You know what? I had shorts on and I was perfectly fine. Now I put some pants on and I'm sweating. Shh. Gemini. Okay, be patient because I'm gonna get I'm just gonna get your cards out. Why are these cards coming out upside down? What the fuck? I never have any of my cards upside down. I don't fucking read reversals. I'm gonna get irritated. We have 10. Ten of Cups, but it came out in reverse. So, right off the damn bat, Gemini. Something you thought was going to make you happy didn't come through. So, now you're reevaluating. Now you're reevaluating everything. What is going on? Oh, my God. All of these cards are... Not all of them, but some of them are in reverse. And you know me, guys, like, I don't read reversals because my cards, I am meticulous about keeping my cards upright. Mm -mm. No. No, bitch, no. This shit is not okay. Damn it, now I gotta turn on this damn fan. I should just put my shorts back on. Stupid. All right. So something that you thought was going to bring you happiness, now you're reevaluating it. Okay, so something, maybe something happened along the twin flame journey and now you're like questioning the journey. You're like, hmm, do I really want to be on this twin flame journey? I don't blame you, Gemini. It's hard, Gemini's. It's not easy, right? One second. Okay, Gemini, sorry about that. Sorry, Gemini, I had to change the angle of the camera because I didn't like how it was. Excuse me. Anyways. Oh, you can see my laundry basket. One second. 
Okay. I'm worrying needlessly about everything and it's dumb. I don't, I just need to relax. <laughs> Who cares, right? Okay, so the Ten of Ariel says, there is so much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. But it came out in reverse. So, you know, this is telling me, Gemini, that you are doubting that you can have this. You're doubting your financial success. You're doubting, you know, that you will ever have enough to retire. You're doubting um, that you're going to have a rich and rewarding family life. And you need to stop that because you are deserving of all of this stuff, Jemmy. Okay. Okay, we have four of Ariel. Dang, there's a lot of fours here. We have ten of Ariel, four of Ariel, four of Gabriel. Um, you will have that happily ever after with your twin soul, Gemini. You will. And I swear to God, if we get another four. Eight of Raphael. For some of you, whoever you thought was your twin soul, it wasn't them, okay? Because we just got eight of Raphael and it says there's something better waiting for you. It says, do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. We have ten, two fours, and an eight. I'm going to be the clearest channel for source messages for Gemini, please. Guide them through me. Six of Ariel. What is Ariel? Is that? Swords. I think it's wands. Is it? I don't even know. I don't know this deck well enough to. <laughs> it's brand spanking new. There's a lot of um, aerials here. I don't know what the hell aerial means. I know Michael is swords. Eight or <laughs> Raphael is Raphael is pentacles. So I'm wondering if Ariel is cups. No, I think Raphael is cups. Gabriel might be wands. So what suit are we missing? Swords. Swords. Wands. Cups. What is the last one? Why can't I think of it? Pentacles? No, I'm pretty sure Ariel is Cubs, right? Pretty sure. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. It'll tell us. Decision. Number 15. So, let's see. You're learning how to give and receive, Gemini. Um, you need to learn to go with the flow. You need to learn to be okay with change, okay? Um, so, Spirit is saying they don't want you to... They don't want you to, to go to like any extremes when it comes to spending your money. They don't want you to overspend. They don't want you to underspend, right? They don't want you to save, like feeling like you're a miser, but they, at the same time, they want you to balance out your finances, okay? Um, and I don't know what this has to do with your twin flame journey, but that's coming out. So I'm just, don't shoot the messenger. Um, I'm going to get, let's see, let's get a few more cards. Something's happening, though, in regards to your twin flame journey. 
that it's coming in pretty quickly and it says time for a celebration um you're being rewarded right now for your hard work in this in this twin flame journey it says abundant rewards for hard work um release yourself from burden some burden some situations okay <clears throat> we have ada Raphael. <clears throat> At this point, Spirit is asking you to focus on yourself. Do what you know is right for you. Focus on your bliss. Okay. The rewards are coming, but they want you to work on yourself at this time, Gemini. Okay. Not to say that your twin is, is going to come forward or, or won't come forward or not. But the more you work on yourself, the better you're going to feel, which is also makes you magnetic to your twin soul okay we have um six of ariel i still haven't figured out if ariel is cops or fucking pentacles i think it's pentacles material needs yeah so it's pentacles so six pentacles material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways okay so working on your finances is going to pay off because then you're going to see that miracles are coming in regards to your finances. I need to wash my hair. I swear. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So again, spirit is really... Hold on, baby. What's up? Spirit is really talking about this balancing, right? Balancing your finances. One second. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. My little needed something. All right, Spirit is also saying that you, um, sorry, I just put some lotion on my knees. <laughs> um, you have been, there's something, there's something that's been holding you back. Um, it says you need to release some things that are holding you back, Gemini. Um, you might need to detox and declutter, get rid of things that no longer serve you in your home environment, in your life. Um, it says that you are, it says unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. So you're feeling at this time like you don't have what it takes to... call in your twin flame and that's not true <laughs> you don't need to do anything to call in your twin flame other than be yourself gemini like <laughs> you don't need to do anything special you don't need to change your hair you don't need to whatever um you can do those things if that's what makes you happy but it's not required to attract in your twin soul because you are <laughs> your twin soul, like your twin soul and you are mirrors, they are you, okay? And so if you love and like yourself, then your twin soul is going to love and like you as much as you love yourself. So the more love that you put into yourself, it's going to reflect back on you from your twin soul, okay? <clears throat> also, you should probably cultivate a relationship with the divine whatever whatever makes you feel like you're you know connecting with whatever divine force you um connect with god um jesus it, it doesn't matter some form of divinity okay meditate um talk to you can you know if, if you believe in god talk to god on a daily basis do some sort of ritual to strengthen your connection with the divine. I find that that really helps me in my twin soul journey. All right, we have Ace of Raphael. Mm. So this says fulfilling romantic relationships. You're going through, hold on, my kids are being so loud and it's so distracting. So, you, hold on one second. Okay, Jemmy. So, at this time, Gemini, you are, you're learning a lot of 
things on your own. This temporary break or whatever that you're having right now from your twin soul is I feel like you're in a separation. Um, you don't you don't have to be for, for those of you that are in separation this time of separation is, is greatly needed because at this moment you're learning a lot on your own spiritually and what that is doing is preparing you for this connection with your twin soul okay um because this relationship is going to be extremely fulfilling for you right I mean, it literally says fulfilling romantic relationships and you may not have had some positive experiences in the past when it comes to love, but you know, this relationship with your twin soul is, is going to change everything for you. It's going to change your perspective on things, right? Okay. We have Ada Michael. It says, you can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. So you have to ask yourself, Gemini, what is it in your twin flame journey that you're not seeing? Is there something that you contributed to the breakdown? Um, is there ways that both of you have contributed to the breakdown of the communication? right there's something hidden here with eight of michael that's eight of swords so it's feeling like you're trapped somehow like you can't fix things in your twin soul relationship and the fact of the matter is the journey is not about fixing things in your twin soul connection. The twin soul journey is about fixing yourself and then um, allowing things to naturally unfold in your twin soul journey, if that makes sense. All right, we have the moon, the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, and face your fears and grow stronger. So there is a lot of fear that um, you are facing. And, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. I know, I know sometimes we're like, no, that's not what's going on. But if it's coming out, then you need to hear this. Like spirit is literally saying, you might be like, oh, I've been really brave. And I'm not saying that you're not brave. I am... I am so positive that you've been so brave, Gemini, right? Um, and faced a lot of things. But there, there, there is still, there has to be some underlying fear. Because if, you're, if your twin soul is showing you fear, it's because you guys are mirrors. There is some kind of subconscious fear of love that is coming out and is being reflected back to you from your twin. But... Ultimately, it's something inside of you that is being reflected to you from your twin. And I know, I know none of us like to hear that. It's so hard. When I, when I get readings like that, like at first I'll get pissed and I'm like, oh, that's not true. But then I, later on I'll go back and I'll be like, you know what? It's exactly what I needed to hear. It's like these, you know, I realized I was holding on to like a lot of subconscious beliefs, right? A ton. A ton. And I thought I knew everything. <laughs> Seriously. And every time I peel back layers of the onion, there's more there. You know? It's it's a never-ending journey, healing is. You know? Becoming the greatest version of yourself is not easy. It is so hard. And every time you think you've achieved, you know, he healing there's more there's more layers to to pull back and to discover and you know facing those and facing them head on and coming to grips with them and not being in denial about the things we need to work on is the first step all right let's see what your counterpart wants to say to you and this reading is is 
is not aimed at a particular sex. Um, masculine or feminine, this can relate to either or. One twin will be the masculine and one twin will be the feminine. It's just about the energy that you relate with. Wow, so your, your counterpart is feeling like you guys have too many differences. They're saying there's, uh, you know, there's different, you guys have different ways of looking at values, right? Finances, things like that. Like what, and, and this is an illusion because, you know, what you value, your twin values as well. So you have to figure out where, where the illusion sits within you that your um, values are not matching your twin souls. And you guys don't have to agree on everything, right? Um, you're not like perfect fucking mirrors of each other. You're not going to agree on everything. That's where you fall back on what you've learned about yourself, right? That's where you fall back on all of the healing. And you can say, I accept you how you are and I can meet you on, on the level that you're at right broken I feel shattered about this situation runner I don't want to run anymore so someone in this connection is feeling a lot of regret they may have thought that you guys had all these differences and they're realizing now it's in their head they're feeling really broken and shattered. They're tired of running, Jemmy. They're really tired of running. They're, they just want to come home. I heard, I just want to come home. There's a lot of longing there. Secrets. I haven't told you everything. Commitment. I want you to be a part of my future. See, that that could have been what it was that they didn't tell you, Jemmy. Um, they didn't tell you how they really felt. They want you to be a part of their future. Regret. I wish this never happened. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of hurt feelings there. Can we get some more cards, please, sir? They're really broken. They have a lot of regret. Escape. I left when things got hard. Look at that. Regrets. I left when things got hard. Broken. Tired of running. I haven't told you everything. But they want to. But they want to. They thought you guys weren't a match. One more card, please. For Gemini. Absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Wow, the masculine or the feminine is really in their head about this. All right, so what, what is the last deck we're going to leave off with, Spirit? Let's see. All right, I'm being really drawn to the sacred destiny, so let's pull one of those for you, Gemini. And this is the sacred destiny oracle. Oof. All right, let's see. What else do we have for Gemini? What is the last card we are going to end this reading on for Gemini? All right, what do we got for Gemini? What do we got for Gemini? Oh, shit. Oh, in vain. Last card for Gemini, please. All right, Gemini. Oh, you cannot make it up. Look, if you had any doubts, don't. The last card we have is love. Your sacred destiny is to love and be loved in return. Have you ever seen that movie, um, Moulin Rouge? The greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. 
It's part of your destiny to be loved, Gemini. You just have to believe it. All right, I hope this helped. Gemini, I love you so much. Mwah. Happy birthday.